everybody! Today I'm here with Melissa Landers, the author of Alienated, and we're here at the RT Book Lurks Convention in New Orleans. So Melissa, would you like to tell the audience a little bit about what Alienated is all about? I would. Alienated Beautiful is <laughs> the story of valedictorian Kara Sweeney, who gets a lot more than she bargains for when she falls in love with her smoking hot alien exchange student whose name is Alix from Planet Lair. As you all know, I love aliens. Aliens are my favorite thing to read about. Mm -hmm. They're one of my favorite, you know that. I know that. So I actually saw your book and I did, it was not in the bookstores yet. And so I put on my to read list at least a year ago. And I was like, I need to get this book. <laughs> I need to get this because it was exactly what I've been looking for in a young adult alien book ever since Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armitrout. Because there's not nearly enough alien books out there. A lot of bloggers um, said that they had been looking for something like this ever since Roswell went off the air. Yeah. And that's been a long yeah, time. That's been a long time. So they've been waiting for this book for a long time. If any of you guys are Roswell fans, and if you if you are not, go check it out. It's on Netflix. Netflix. You got me hooked on it. Yeah, binge watch it. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I just like watch it every Mark time. Seven. So we're going to start with the questions. I got these questions off of Instagram, which you guys have asked me to ask Melissa today. So let's get started. And there are some really good questions that I have to ask her. So Melissa, what inspired you to write sci-fi? I love science fiction. I grew up on a steady diet of Star Wars and Star Trek and even a little bit of Doctor Who like from the 70s. I know I'm dating myself here. but. Um, I still have my like original C-3PO carrying case and my little Star Wars action figures and my Millennium Falcon, so it was already up here. Mm -hmm. And so um, I wanted to do NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, if you don't know. Mm -hmm. And so I'm driving down the road thinking, I need an idea. And some stuff came to me that was boring, and then I swear it just dropped in my head. Mm -hmm. What if a high school girl had to host an alien exchange student? And I was like, oh my god, yes. Yeah. That's awesome. I've got to write it's that. So good. It's a really good idea. It was Thank really you. amazing. That's what really hooked me onto your book, just knowing that it was about something so unique. And I've mm -hmm. never seen this before. Even before Starcrossed, um, the show that's on the CW that sadly got canceled, mm -hmm. even before that was shown, I put this on a to read list because I'm like, this is amazing. And so I once I saw the Starcrossed was kind of similar, mm -hmm. I was like, I know I'm going to love the show right away because these things are so amazing and so similar, but different because mm -hmm. they're about aliens. And I love anything that has to do with aliens. So if you are a fan of Starcross, you're definitely gonna love Melissa's book. I'm just saying that right away. Thank it's you. fantastic. Even though it's very different, but it, it is. It's very different, but it still has two hot alien guys. And we all love hot aliens. Aliens. I know. <sighs> Welcome. Just like, Wait, we turn him up. He's a good down. cover model. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Who is he? Can I don't know. I don't know. My editor said all she could remember was that he was Swedish. Oh, I know, Swedish. Swedish. Mm -hmm. And that he brought a book with him to the photo shoot and he was really into it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what is, <sighs> yeah, I don't he was know. Great. He was I'm great. almost afraid to know his name because if I put it out there, the poor guy would probably get stalked or something. Okay. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is Did you model any of the characters off of people that you know? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. Okay, originally Kara was a little less intense and my critique partner said, you know, she could kind of be anyone. Why don't you make her more distinct? Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, um, what kind of characteristics do I have myself that are a little weird? And I'm wicked competitive. Like, yeah. crazy competitive. <laughs> you don't want to play games with me. It's My husband's competitive too and when we get together and play a game, it's, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make Kara Sweeney over the top competitive, like Type A, um, you know, the kind who would steal the valedictorian yes. rank from her <laughs> rival. Really? So there's a little bit of me in Kara. That's great. I love when authors put the little bit of themselves into their main characters because you know that makes them real mm -hmm. in a way. And I love that. I love that. What was your most favorite scene to write? Can I make a guess out of this really Okay, quickly? go ahead, guess. Would it be the scene where they're in her, her room? Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. the big makeout scene. <laughs> I love yes. that scene. Spoiler alert, there's a big makeout scene. Yeah. I've been waiting for that throughout the whole entire book. Mm -hmm. So would you like to say like why you liked writing it or Okay. First of all, it was my editor's suggestion to make mm -hmm. it a competition. <laughs> and I thought that was brilliant. It was. When Alex is like kissing, that's weird. Mm -hmm. I researched it. That's kinda gross and she's like, Oh whatever. You know, it's better than your way and it's like, mm -hmm. Oh well let's put it to a test. Yeah. And that was so much fun to write. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I love that part. I love that. Like, they just had such great chemistry and the angst that was building up to that and their yeah. like, sexual tension. I'm like, just kiss just went, already. <sighs> I know, I'm like, I'm like, yay. I just was like gripping that book and I'm just like fangirling over it. I'm like, yes, I ship you guys. <laughs> yes. It was great. It was great. I was so happy that that scene happened. It was perfect timing too. I have to say, it was thought, perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there was enough buildup and there was enough like suspense up to that point. And then when it actually happened, you're just like, 
that was my editor's doing too. She was like, she's really good. She, good editor. <laughs> yeah, because there was a little more. She's like, let's pull it back. Let's not them have. Let's not have them even touch mm -hmm. until this page. I'm mm -hmm. like, really? They can't even touch. But you know, it worked. She was right. It's on. better than like a relationship being like rushed in and forced yeah. and everything. Definitely mm -hmm. better than that. So, what was the most difficult scene to write? Okay, I don't want to spoil anything, mm -hmm. but at the end, when Kara finds out everything. Yes. That was really hard um, to write because I, you know, authors joke about how they love torturing their characters. I don't like to torture mine. Thank you. No, I, I don't. I, I hate that part. Oh my I, gosh, yeah. I just yeah. want everyone to be happy yeah, yeah, and yeah, like, love each other. Yeah, little alien babies. Yes, yes, love yes. And peace and prospering. Yeah, so it's really hard for me to make them suffer. That was yeah. the hardest part. But that was also a really strong and intense scene. I love that scene Thank in a way. Because it was really, like, really nicely written, but then again, it was, like, heartbreaking mm -hmm. to read about, and at the end of your book, I was like, I need him, And you have to know it's coming, yes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because you see what he's thinking throughout, and you're like, this is not gonna end Yeah, well. I was just, like, waiting, and I'm like, wait, what's going on? Like, yeah. something's happening. What are you doing, Alex? Do not mess this up. And then I'm like, what? And then I'm like, <laughs> but I still love you. <laughs> and then he kind of redeems himself, mm -hmm. so, and I bet he'll redeem himself more and invade it. And, oh, like, he'll, oh, he'll have to see. I hope so. So we all know that layer is a very difficult language sometimes mm -hmm. like to pronounce in your head because I know I had difficulties. So can you pronounce some of the words that you use? Totally, about? totally. And I, I got a phone call from the woman who narrated the audiobook. <laughs> yeah. And we had, yeah, she had like a list of 20 words. How do oh you my say God. this? Okay, lair rhymes with dare, one syllable. Uh, Alex, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Serene, mm -hmm. Aaron, uh, those are characters. Let's see. Oh, the bread, um, Lauren. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, oh, the the kissing thing they do is shalom. Kind of sounds like a Jewish word in a way. It like kind of yeah, shalom. Like, yeah, I just like thought about I never that. thought about that. Yeah, huh? I didn't either until now. And then Lena, that's the other breakfast food. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. I love the anymore. breakfast food. I love how he doesn't like pizza. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like. Did the, you see that fan art? Yes, was that, that was amazing. Cool? That was amazing. I know. Fan art. I love seeing fan art. And I was that really was, touched by that. That was really great. Mm -hmm. I saw it on your Instagram. I'm like, this is a good fan art. I like yeah. it. It was really great. He's talented. I loved it. Yeah. So if aliens made contact with Earth, what would you do and what would your first action be? My first action would be like barreling them down and getting on the ship and saying, <laughs> take me away, you will, you know. Take I, me to your planet. Yeah. I, I, that would just be like the ultimate for me. Yeah, yeah. really, same. You I, know on Independence Day, you see yes, that. Yes, There's the weirdos standing on top of the Empire <laughs> State Building with the, the, the banner that says, take yeah, me to yeah, your leader, yeah. and they get killed first. Yeah. That would be me. That would mean I'll be right next to you. Yeah. <laughs> So can you tell us about the second book in the series, Invaded? A little bit, without giving too yeah, much Yeah, without away, giving too much, yeah. Invaded mm -hmm. is the ultimate long distance relationship. Oh my gosh, If yeah. you've ever been in a long distance relationship, mm -hmm. that is kind of the the first part of Invaded. Yeah. Alex and Kara doing what they have to do, and I wish I could tell you, but if I tell you Read it's a huge book. spoiler for the yeah. first book. Um, and, and kind of facing different challenges and then coming back together at the end. And when is Invita come out again? February 3rd, 2015. Oh, so very not soon, but... What, like seven-ish yeah. months? Yeah, seven-ish seven months, yeah. That'll go by fast. I know, for in book years, that's not that bad. No. Because Sandra book, Claire yes. makes us wait two years for books, so... Yeah, see, I'm nice. This is nothing. Yeah. She's nice. She's... So do you have any projects you're currently working on besides Alienated and the series? Actually, yes. Um, we don't know how long the Alienated series is going to be, because that depends on sales. Uh -huh. So my publisher just bought a new book for me, and we're kind of tentatively calling it Starflight. Mm -hmm. We pitched it as Overboard meets Firefly. And Firefly! I know, I know, I right? Love, only one season. That's not fair. It's not, not fair. fair. No. Mm -hmm. But it's about a teenage girl who indentures herself to the rich high school boy who, like, tortured her in exchange for passage to another world. And when his memory gets erased, she convinces him that the roles are reversed, that she's the master and he's the servant. And then oh, shenanigans. Oh my yeah. gosh. This has to happen. Yeah, it's happening. I'm on chapter seven right now. Really? I know. Yeah, it's a lot of fun I to write. I am so excited for this. Yeah. And once you said Firefly, I'm like, I'm, I'm I know. getting this book. That's what my editor said too. She was yeah. like, Firefly, done. So Melissa's been getting this question quite often. It's because people from international countries such as England have not been able to find her book in bookstores. And she's going to shed some light on that. If you can't find Alienated in um, in your country, you're going to have to order it online. We have not sold foreign rights to any countries yet except for Turkey. So if you're in the UK or France or Germany or anywhere outside the US, I'm afraid you're going to have to get online. But there's good news. Book Depository offers free worldwide shipping. So you go to bookdepository.com. Slash a bookutopia. <laughs> 
order the book <laughs> and it ships anywhere for free, mm -hmm. anywhere at all. And I mean, the same goes for the U.S. Yeah, because yeah. bookstores it's can't keep that. everything on the shelf yeah. forever. So you go, shipping is free. I love it. Yeah, I love I'm an affiliate store. there, so thank you. Oh, yeah. mind. What do you do when you're not writing? Oh gosh, when am I not writing? <laughs> um, it depends. I, I love to read, but sometimes mm -hmm. after I write all day, my brain is just so mushy. I have to yeah. watch television. And so um, I've been like exploring new shows on Netflix. Yeah. Like I just found Farscape, which is, it's like a weirder, and I mean weird in a good way. Mm -hmm. It's like a weirder Firefly. It's, if you like Firefly, yeah. give it a try. Okay, yeah. Um, what else have I been watching? Orange is the New Black. I love that show. Oh yeah, I watch it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then sometimes if I'm really brain dead, I'll just lay in bed and just flip and watch junk. Yeah, I don't know. junk. Definitely. <laughs> I love that stuff. Like when you just like be doing something, like you can multitask, but mm -hmm. you don't need to be paying attention to it or yeah. you're like, just brain dead. So just, it like, depends on the d degree of brain deadness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you just do whatever. Mm -hmm. That's great though. That's great. I love watching TV sometimes. But there's just not enough time because, like, after review books, yeah. and there's books, and, and there's books to go for life. But it's okay because books are books. Good problem to have. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. <laughs> what books do you recommend readers that loved Alienated? Oh gosh, that's a hard question. I imagine that anyone who's finding Alienated has already read the Lux series. Mm -hmm. That's just like a given. Mm -hmm. um, I've really, really enjoyed. Cinta Chima's um, Seven Realms series. That's fantasy, oh, yeah. not sci-fi, but it's mm -hmm. so well done. Yeah, 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 and um, Han is the male character there who you will absolutely fall in love with. Yeah. Fire and Thorns a series yes. by Ray Carson. Yes, yes, yes. Love that one. It's got like a really cool, unique kind of like Spanish setting. Yeah. Um, it's it's like fantasy with a twist. I really love My it. My friend loved it. My friend Gabby loved it. And she's like, this is the last question I have to okay. ask you. And what advice do you have for some aspiring writers? Okay, I get this question a lot, and you guys have tons of advice already, you know, mm -hmm. like obviously read whatever it is you want to write, mm -hmm. never stop, never give up, that's all applicable. But the advice I give most often is kind of like hunker down for the long term. Mm -hmm. People will write one book and say, okay, I'm going to get it published now, and when that doesn't happen, because 99% of first books don't get published, yes. they, they quit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm no good. It's just no point. I quit. Mm -hmm. You have to think of it like the Olympics. You wouldn't put on a pair of skates and like wobble out into the ice and expect to make the, the next Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. It's like the same thing with publishing. So yes. just like stay the course. Um, it's okay if you write five books and they don't get published. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Give yourself permission like to to fail a few times. Exactly, exactly. And if you do not know this, the author of Legend, Marie Lu, actually wrote tons of books before she actually wrote Legend, and she got like put down for every single one of them until Legend, and she kept on trying, and she mm -hmm. ended up getting a bestseller. So you never know what can happen after writing tons and tons of books. And like the Olympics. <laughs> always self-publish. If you cannot get a job with a publishing company, don't end there. If you love the book, self-publish it. And who knows, it could like really... But do it right. Do it right. Like get an editor. Get an editor, yeah. please. And please. your mom is not your editor. I, I told like so many self-published authors that and I'm like, I will send you an editor. Just like, it'll be a reasonable price. Just please get it. Yeah. Because you, you have to have somebody that has no ties to you. Mm -hmm. Then you need mm -hmm. to get the real deal. Yeah. Or else that, it's not going to come out well. No. Thank you so much for being Thanks here today. Thanks for having me. Yes. And guys, make sure you go check out Alienated on Goodreads and go buy it on Amazon if you live out of the country or book depository or pick it up at Barnes & Noble because they have it there also. It's beautiful and you want this cover. Just don't you want it on your bookshelf? It's actually faced outwards online because I just, it's just gorgeous. It is pretty. It has a very attractive alix on the cover and it has a very attractive story and it's such an amazing book and I cannot Thank stress you. that enough. It's beautifully written guys Aww. and it's in dual point of view which is amazing so if you're a guy you'll love it too. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah, so I, I love this book and I'll recommend it to anybody who even if you do not love sci-fi it has an amazing romance in it and it just it's out of this world. Thank you. And I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. See what I, did. I always use that. I use that panel. <laughs> I overuse it. But it's okay. It works. It works. It works. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So thank you again for being here. Thanks. And guys, just make sure you go check out her book. It's fantastic. Bye!